Hello, welcome back. Today I will guide you how to show and add rulers in Microsoft Word. Rulers in Microsoft Word or rulers in any word processing document um, help you to position text, graphics, tables and other elements in your document. To gain a bit of extra document space, you can add both the horizontal and the vertical rulers. This is the horizontal and this is the vertical ruler. If you are working on a small screen, you may want to temporarily hide part of the word window to maximize the space used for your document. If you are not currently using the rulers, you can easily hide them and then show them again. The rulers in Word only display when you are in print layout view. Let's go to our document. This is the sample document. And here we are on print layout view. And this is where you can be able to view both horizontal and vertical rulers. But if you don't know how to change this view, just go to View tab. And then under the View section, you can easily switch to the these modes. We have the Read mode, Print mode, Web layout, Outline, and Draft. But we want this printout mode. So if you switch, for example, like the outline mode, you can easily go to view and switch to print layout mode, where we will be able to view both horizontal and the vertical ruler. The view tab, this one here, is also where you can add or show the rulers. To hide the rulers and check the ruler. So we go to view tab and then we uncheck the ruler, but you should go to the show section and then you uncheck the ruler. Let's uncheck and see. Now we can't see the rulers. No ruler here, the horizontal one and the vertical one, it isn't here. Show the rulers again, simply check the ruler box again. Let's check it. Now we can see the rulers. We have the horizontal and we have the vertical here. If you don't use the vertical ruler, this one here, let's go back. If you don't use the vertical ruler, this one here, that display on left side of the document space, but you want to show the horizontal ruler at the top of the document. We only want the horizontal. Suppose you want the only horizontal ruler and you want to hide the, the vertical ruler. If you don't use the vertical ruler that displays on the left side of the document space, this one here, but you want to show the horizontal ruler at the top of the document space, this one here, you want to show this the horizontal one, you can hide just the vertical ruler. We can hide the vertical ruler. To do this, click the File tab. We go to the file tab here, we click. On the backstage screen, click options. We click on options. And then the word window options will open, like this one here. Click advanced. We click advanced in the list of the items on the left side of the word option screen here. We click on Advanced. Scroll down to Display section and then check the Show Vertical Ruler in Print Layout View. We scroll down up to Display Option and this is Display Option. We are here. So we uncheck the Show Vertical Ruler in Print Layout View and then we click OK 
to accept the change and close the window option dialog box. Now the vertical ruler is hidden. If the ruler box is checked on the view tab here, the horizontal ruler still displays on top of the document space. So we have the horizontal and we don't have the vertical ruler. Note the following. If the ruler box in the show section of the view tab is unchecked, somewhere is unchecked, let's try to uncheck it. Neither ruler will display whether or not you have the vertical ruler enabled. So let's go back and enable the ruler. We got advanced and then we go to display display option and then we check show vertical ruler in print layout view and then we click OK to accept the change and then let's uncheck. Now mind you that we have enabled this ruler but if we uncheck the ruler on the view tab under show section we won't be able to view both rulers. But for my case, I would like to see both rulers, the vertical and the horizontal. Then I'll go to view tab under the show section. I will check the ruler and now I have both the rulers, the vertical and the horizontal one. And this is the end of our lesson today. But don't forget to subscribe, like and share so that you don't miss the coming video.